Hello and welcome to Retro Bikes Dublin. Today we're looking at a Peugeot Executive 125. It's a two-stroke scooter in really immaculate condition with loads of extras on it and uh, extremely, extremely difficult to find, especially one that looks like this. It has side stand as an extra, the rear uh, back box, and it's got the original toolkit and uh, original owner's manual with it as well. Uh, so we'll go from front to rear on condition, but I'll just show you here first. The front tire is going to be replaced because this one is knackered and we have the new tire to go on it here. Front mud guard is in really nice condition. A few little minor marks on it here. As you can see, other than that, plastics are really nice in the front. As original front headlamp and indicators, front plastics all original, no marks or scuffs in the front here. Peugeot exec Executive with the OG uh, Hercules branding on it. Onto the right hand side of the bike, then. Plastics on the right hand side, all perfect. Peugeot design here, drum brake on the or disc brake on the front, sorry, and it's a drum brake on the on the rear. Plastics in the footwell area are really, really good. Here you often see all the scuffing from people's boots or shoes, uh, marking up the left and right hand side of the footwell area, but this is in really, really nice condition. Original pillion passenger foot pegs working as well. We have the um, bit of uh, extra space in here for sunglasses or something like that underneath the odometer. Keys as well with all the, uh, for all the extras like the back box and all is all present. Left or right hand side here, all really good. Only 13,528 kilometers on the clock. Uh, dials are already clear, no yellowing or um, kind of fading as you see in plastics on the dials here. Sometimes you can't see through them. Same with the writing and text on the left and right hand controls. Already clear, no fading at all. Original left and right hand side uh, mirrors on it too. We'll go onto the rear right of the bike here now. Everything here, nothing really to show too close. Everything in perfect condition. Original rear brake light, no cracks or anything. The exhaust as well is in nice condition. Has a minor little well there. But uh, that's what you want to see rather than holes in the exhaust. Rear tire is good. 1996 uh, LK4736 number plate. Uh, rear back box now and I'll show you a few goodies in here. It's just had uh, rollers and belt done to it. So it's new rollers and new belt in it. Oil service and um, two stroke in it as well. Uh, original owner's manual Peugeot SV125 and it has tax till the 4th. 21 with the tax books being there Left hand side of the plastics here at the rear are in really good condition air box and uh, Kickstand here all good as well Left hand side pillion passenger peg two Little minor mark here on the on bottom left hand side Hercules branding on the left here Little minor mark here as well Other than that really really nice. I'll show you under the seat now as well Really, really nice original toolkit here and a spark plug uh, spanner as well. You have the chassis number and so on there. This is the uh, number of the spark plug that should be in it uh, with all the documentation there. So all very good. As well as uh, um, I think at the rear it has for the, what PSI the tires should be. Front tire 25 and the rear tire 31. Really, really well looked after bike. Extremely difficult to find uh, something like this in this good condition. Person who gets this bike is getting what I would call a bit of a bargain and a real a real find uh, as well. Really, really nice bike. Two stroke being capable of up and over 100 kilometers an hour. Really quick up to the speed as well. So a really nice bike. So that's it for the visual analysis. We'll now move on to the ride along video. Okay, we're on to the Peugeot, uh, two stroke little Peugeot we have. A kind of semi Hercules uh, Peugeot with back box, nice under seat storage, really great runner. I've actually been using it myself to get back uh, to and from the workplace. And uh, so I know how to really ride the bike and I know a lot about it. Lights are here on the right hand side, indicators are working, everything's perfect on it high beam, low beam, the horn is working. Uh, so it's a, a rear brake in, so your left hand brake in and press the start button. Do not uh, give any revs to start. Seems to have like nearly an automatic choke on it. And then away you go. Let's put up the side stand as well. So that's that, and off we go. 
So we're going to turn right here out of the estate. It's so bloody miserable these days. The bloody light going at It's only half three now, would you believe? It feels like it's about nine o'clock at night. But anyway, we move on, get around, move through the estate here. The bike is really, really good, reliable, nice little bike. Um, I've ridden it to and from uh, home every day and I've had no issues at all. It's gotten me there and back absolutely fine. We then uh, have a top speed. Top speed is about 80 kilometers an hour max. It's had new rollers and um, uh, belt put into it, so it's uh, more tuned for um, uh, the, um, how should I call it, uh, acceleration rather than top speed. Uh, the other rollers would have done a bit more. You would have been probably getting 90, 95, but realistically this bike is just going up and down uh, in um, kind of built up areas like this or else, um, it has, uh, it is, uh, what you call it, doing a couple of uh, journeys out on dual carriageways and stuff like that. Turning circle then is really good. We have fitted that uh, front tire since you saw the visual analysis of the bike uh, as well. And hopefully I am not getting involved with the uh, um, test here. I hope this isn't an official test. That would be really bad his tanker make sure that I knew that I hope she will pass and uh, say thanks for letting me pass she did the right thing there and um, we'll turn in left here as we normally do to go in around the estate and as you see bike is really really comfortable super super nice it actually has space for a second a pillion pa passenger as well as a, a storage at the back it's a real pity, uh, hopefully the uh, GoPro is working. If you're seeing this, it probably has worked. Uh, if not, then I'm going to be doing this all over again. Uh, but uh, it should be simple enough. I don't, uh, I've been trying to test if the microphone is working about 17 times and it's very hard to see if it is or not. So we'll just have to see when I get back onto the computer at home and see if it is working. Turn in left here and put the bike down to the side. Only modification on the bike is the side stand, which is extremely handy. I'm gonna put down the side stand here. That's lovely. And we'll do the uh, electrics here now. So left indicator, which is integrated into those kind of like hand uh, guards, working. Right indicator is also working. We have the lights at the front that are working. High, uh, that's low beam now. And that's high beam. We just give it a bit of a. Here we are, and I'll get a picture of it now. Just to uh, get a thumbnail. Hold on now. And we just uh, hold on there. Just cut out there, but really, really nice little bike, Peugeot Executive, formerly I think a Hercules design. Hercules insides nice little back box plenty of space underneath for a bag or something like that a helmet You do have a little space in here as well for uh, kind of what they call a sunglass area or putting your little log books or something like that in too again start it ignition on and uh, No throttle to start But that's in it for this video on the Peugeot executive two-stroke little moped if you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. Also, comment down below on what you think of the, um, the little Peugeot here. As well as if you could subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, we're nearly at 3,000 subscribers now, so we're getting close to that landmark. As well as that, if you do want to reach out to us on our socials about any of these bikes you see, they are uh, Retro Bikes Dublin for Facebook and I Instagram, as well as our official website being www.retrobikesdublin.com. Thanks for watching.